Hey everyone, Girl Meets Pixels here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you guys a current household update video on Nicole Calvin and I'm really excited to share this with you guys. I've been working uh, on her story a little bit more lately and I feel like she's at a good point right now that I can update you guys and share some progress that she's made just in her life and all that good stuff. So if you've never seen one of my current households before, I definitely recommend going and checking out the playlist. I will have it linked down below in the description for you guys. So make sure to go check it out. It all originates from one family and it's broken down into multiple different storylines, different families now. You guys can also check out, I'll have Nicole's specific ones in the description as well. So you guys can just jump to see about her story if you guys would like to do that instead or whatever, or if you just need a refresh. All that good stuff. So all that will be linked down in the description, like I said. Anyways, we are in the beautiful world of Starlight Shores, which is where Nicole has been residing for quite a while now. And she is in the acting career, or the actor's career, or whatever you want to call it, the film career. Uh, she has now leveled up to a level four personal assistant. She's due for a promotion any day now, so that is really exciting. And she's starting to make a decent amount of money. She's not, you know, super, super rich, but she's getting there. She's making progress. She's currently been working on trying to gain a celebrity level, which is really hard to do since we aren't in Bridgeport, which is what this career, the world this career came with. So there's not really that many celebrities here in Starlight Shores, surprisingly, because I definitely feel like there should be. As I'm working on going in and adding in some celebrities within the town. But Nicole actually right now is at the park, so we're going to hop on over there with her. It's been a while since I've updated you guys on Nicole, but weirdly enough, not that much has changed. Like I said, she's been working, she's been working her dang butt off and just trying to move up in her career, trying to get to know the right people, etc., etc. She's in a relationship with her car. That's normal, right? So she's just been working on connections, getting to know people. She knows like almost, I would say like almost all of the town. It's pretty crazy. Um, but she now has a roommate with her, being that, you know, she's a good person and she had a friend who needed some help uh, and had gotten kicked out of her apartment. And so Nicole welcomed her friend in and said, girl, it's okay. I got you. I got you. Just come stay with me. And it'll be all good. So her friend is actually May Flowers. So May is a model at the moment. She's a level two and it is a custom career that I downloaded into my game just because I felt like, I don't know, I didn't see her being an actress. I didn't see her, you know, doing any of that kind of stuff, but she is a model. And so she's working on that. And she's been a very fun addition into Nicole's life. And Nicole, honestly, just, you know, she's one of those people that when she has a friend, she takes really good care of her friends and keeps them there close to her. She has a small amount of friends, uh, but she really does like love them to death. So um, May is one of those friends and they're now roommates and living together. And she does have some new kind of more personal relationships. Uh, she was with Wayne Martin as kind of like, I don't know, I guess kind of like his side chick. I know that sounds super weird, but like, and especially since he's an elder now, uh, but they were just kind of romantic interests. And even though he's married and everything, you know, she was there chilling in the background. They hooked up a few times, uh, but it's not like she like really like love, loved him. She has not you know, she's kind of moved on past him. They haven't spoke in a while and he's just kind of chilling. He calls her up every once in a while, but she just kind of ignores him and she's moved on from him. Uh, because she felt like there was no purpose or no future in that relationship, so it just made no sense. She has gotten kind of closer to her boss. Um, they're actually pretty good friends, old friends, which is good. He's a good connection to have in Starlight Shores. He knows a lot of people and helps introduce her to a lot of people, which has been really nice. Um, and Nicole honestly hasn't been in any relationships, romantic relationships, no boyfriends, none of that. She's just been really just working her butt off. Like she really has <laughs> just been working. She does have a new friend here. Um, and we'll be talking a little bit more about him a little bit later on. I think they're going to invite him out. Um, and they're going to go out for, you know, Friday night out on the town. Uh, but right now Nicole is actually, uh, working for her job. She is promoting a new movie that's coming out. And since she's a personal assistant, she kind of has to go around and uh, go to different locations and hand out flyers about the movie to help promote it, get some people coming into the theater to see it. 
Uh, so she does this actually quite often, and it's actually a really fun interaction to have because she does get to meet new people. Uh, so she'll come out, hand out a flyer to this guy here. Who? Oh my gosh, he's super cool. He has an like, earring and everything. His name's Barry. Okay. So she's going to come and give him a flyer and probably this guy over here. Even though he's a proprietor, it's totally fine. Uh, but this helps her actually to like get some good traction in her career and to level up and just, you know, impress those higher ups. So that's what she's been doing. Uh, just working on, you know, helping out as an assistant. And even though being an assistant isn't really being there on screen or acting, <laughs> of course, um, it's, it's still a good opportunity. And Nicole like doesn't get too upset about it. Wow, this guy really thinks she's hot. Well, buddy, she's not really interested right now. Also, I like this repair woman over here walking around with her dog in hand. Like, girl, yes, though. And your dog is so cute. I love it. <laughs> we might have to talk to her because she's like styling, girl. Um, and the girls actually did adopt a dog, which I think I did on a live stream. Everyone was like, get a dog, get a dog. So we did. And so we have Bella Calvin here who actually just recently aged up, like literally like yesterday. And now she's playing in a puddle, I guess. Uh, but she's like a really big dog and I was not expecting that at all, but she's super cute. And they've been having a bunch of fun with her. She hasn't gotten to go to the dog park yet or anything like that, but hopefully soon they can take her out. Um, I will give you guys a tour of the house once they come home. I'm just going to kind of walk you guys through the updates while still playing the game. I feel like that just makes it so much more interesting than just me like standing around or us just staring at the sim standing there, I guess. Uh, well done. The studio values your hard work and dedication. This production will be your best yet. Perfect. So now she has to get back to work. <laughs> She has to stop talking to friends and everything, get back to work. She's only going to be back there for a little bit less than an hour. I think her day is done at 4 o'clock, so that kind of sucks. Okay, so Nicole is heading on back to work, and like I said, she'll only be there, I think, for now just like 30 minutes. So not even that long, but like I said, it's fine. It's all good. Uh, and then May gets off at 5, so not too long after Nicole gets off. Uh, so Nicole will probably head on home, freshen up, and I think they're going to head out for the night. I think they're going to invite uh, Nicole's friend. I mean, I guess he's kind of both of their friends. Uh, his name is Noaf, and I actually didn't make him. He Oh, there's a party going on. Um, to Wayne's? No. I don't think we're going to go. He's old. Like, he's old news, and we're done with him, so we're good. Um, anyways, yeah, so she's going to head on home. But Nawaf I actually didn't make, uh, and I'll give you guys a little bit more of his story uh, once they meet up with him. Uh, his, he was generated in the game. I just went in and, you know, did some magic and made him look a lot better. <laughs> or at least I think he looks a lot better. So, yeah. Anyway, so Nicole's going to head on home, freshen up, maybe get in a little bit of a nap, hopefully. Her energy is a little, a little low, so uh, she needs a little bit of a boost. And she'll probably get to uh, meet up with Bella, give her some love before they head on out. Bella is seriously so cute of a dog, though. Like, she's so sweet. Aww. She, like, gets to head outside now. She's been a puppy, I feel like, for the longest time, and she's been stuck inside the house. So it's nice that, like, because they do have a little bit of a backyard. It's not too bad. Uh, so it's nice that they have a little bit of a place to let her play. Anyway, so Nicole is home. And like I said, I give you guys a little bit of a tour. And her house has not changed that much since... Uh, the last update. Um, oh, yeah, Bella needs some food. We should probably feed her and then take a little bit of a nap. Uh, but yeah, so everything has been mostly the same. We did upgrade the stove and added in a few little decorations over here. Oh, May is on her way home too. Yay. Okay, so they can both freshen up. Anyways, and then over here is where the biggest change has happened in May's room. So since there's only one bedroom in this house, I'm going to turn on the lights. Um, we actually decorated this on a stream over on Twitch, which was a bunch of fun. You guys helped me out a bunch. Uh, and this is super cute. It's totally May style, kind of wild, kind of bohemian, kind of girly. Uh, just a little bit of eclectic kind of stuff, which is totally like May. That's like totally her style. Uh, so yeah, so this is her room in the garage. We just renovated it. And now Nicole parks her car out here. Or I guess May. May was using it today, but... Yeah, so I really, really love May's room. It's, like, one of my favorites. I mean, I, I love Nicole's room, too. Like, they're just classic. They're just so good. I just love it so much. <laughs> May gets home, and she's like, Nicole, girl, like, we, we got to go out. Like, why are you sleeping? She's like, get your butt off the couch. 
Uh, so she's going to just change into her everyday wear. They're not going to just, you know, they're not going to wear this, their work clothes out because no one wants to wear that. Um, and then Nicole's going to change her outfit to this and just have them wake up. Oh, look at Bella. Bella actually really loves May. I mean, she loves Nicole too, but May and Bella have like this like relationship and they're just really close. Uh, so I'm going to have Nicole invite out Nawaf. Um, let's invite out. And then we'll head out with May as well. So May wanted to go to a dive bar, but I don't think I have any in this town. So maybe they'll go to just one of the clubs, of course. And I'm kind of thinking maybe Mix Master Karaoke. I'm kind of thinking that. Or Emanate. Um, let's go to Emanate, actually. Hopefully it's not like super boring there <laughs> and that's kind of the tough thing about sims 3 is that the clubs aren't usually like populated well enough and it just kind of is a bummer but we can populate it if need be it's not a big deal but we're going to invite him out oh perfect He'll, he's gonna meet us there and we'll head out with may as well poor may she's like please don't leave me behind <laughs> they honestly like party not like all the time but they throw parties quite often um and they also attend quite a few parties and they also go out like during the week like all the time like they don't just wait for the weekend to go out to the club or anything like that or meet up with people for drinks they like oh may just took our car okay that's fine <laughs> we'll just take a taxi i guess no big deal um yeah so uh yeah they oftentimes will just go out after work and just like hang out with friends until like midnight or two in the morning and then head on home and then go to work the next day. So oftentimes they're running on very little sleep. As you can see, like Nicole is very sleepy right now, but she'll be fine. She'll live. She's young. <laughs> oh no. It looks like there's not a lot of people here at m Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. I hate that. We might have to populate the area ourselves. I really love this club though. m is like one of my favorites. I feel like it has like the best like area and everything. I did add in bars to it, which is really nice too. Um, I will give you guys a little bit more info on May. I'm going to have her actually come order a drink. She's going to come get a deep despair. <laughs> that sounds horrible, but okay. Uh, but yeah, so she's going to come over here. May is really cute. She was generated by the game. I didn't make her, but her and Nicole just kind of became friends. And here they are. This guy just appeared out of nowhere. Okay. Um, so this is May's traits. She's flirty, a slob, a party animal, clumsy, and diva. Uh, and she, like I said, is a model and she's just like this fun, interesting character. Like she's just kind of a little bit of a hot mess. Uh, and which is why she got kicked out of her old apartment. Like she didn't pay rent. She didn't, like didn't keep the place clean. She was just kind of a mess. And so Nicole has kind of like gotten her into shape a bit and taught her to, you know, clean up after herself a bit and not make as many messes and to pay rent on time. So Nicole has been like a really good influence on May. Uh, but May's getting there. She's working on it. Um, she does have the wish to be a heartbreaker and be the girlfriend of 10 different Sims. So far, she hasn't, you know, had any boyfriends. Um, but she has, like, flirted with a bunch of guys and whatnot. But she's still, like, been working on her career quite a bit, too. But she's really pretty. Um, and she's just really adorable. And she's kind of just, like, that fun, like, friend that you have, you know? Then over here, um, we have Nawaf. And he is, like, such a character. Like, he's been i think they've only been friends for a little while like not that long uh but he is um oh no i was like i was trying to show you guys his traits but i can't i actually don't even know if i know all his traits i don't um or as nicole doesn't i took him into create a sim and changed him up a bit um but so far we know that he's irresistible and star quality so he's working on i think he's an actor as well um, although his career says that he doesn't have one. So uh, my original idea was to put him in the actor career and that he's aspiring to be an actor as well. And him and Nicole are going like down similar paths and, you know, trying to navigate the whole Starlight Shores thing in general, which is tough. Uh, oh, okay. She wants, no, no girl, we ain't doing that. Not right now. So Nawaf is, uh, his name is like really interesting. I had to look, look it up and everything. So He's part Egyptian, and then his last name is actually German. So his mom is from Egypt, and his dad is German, and that's how he was made. And I thought that was really cool that, like, the game, even though it generated his name and made him up, um, it gave him, like, a pretty interesting, like, little bit of a backstory or, like, 
uh, history to him. But he's here in Starlight Shores without his family, kind of like Nicole is, and they've just become like really good friends lately. Uh, as you can see, good friends. Like they, he came over and helped her out like when she was sick, and like was just there for her. And so they've just been really cute buddy buddies. And I don't know. I don't know if they'll like turn into anything like romantic. Uh, but for now, like, they're just really good friends, and he's just been there to help her a lot. Uh, so I think they can go inside, because she's getting pretty tired and everything. They should go in and get, um, probably actually some food before they start drinking. Um, probably get some, probably, get, uh, we'll get wings. Yes, girl, I'll get some wings. And Mae is out here just standing on the side of the street. Girl, go get some food too. Actually, I might have, have her head upstairs because the, there's another bar. So she'll go eat uh, a grilled cheese sandwich. That works too. Delicious, delicious. Yeah, there's not a lot of people here, but there's a paparazzi, the proprietor, and a tourist guy, Louis. He looks like he's having a good old time. Uh, but yeah, so I think they're just gonna hang out for a bit, catch up, kind of relax. I think both of them have the weekend off. Oh no, <laughs> poor May has to work tomorrow, but that's okay. At least Nicole doesn't, because she's actually pretty tired. So, even though it's only 9:40 p.m., like it's not even that late. <laughs> um, I wanted to show you guys Noaf, because he's actually like <laughs> real cute. Like I said, I did take him into Creative Sim, and you know, made him not so putting face, but he's pretty cute. I actually really like him. Uh, and he just has like the, a little bit of an edgy style ish um, But yeah, so like I said, he's just trying to become an actor trying to do the same th thing that Nicole is doing uh, And so far it doesn't seem like he's doing too well because he's not even in the film career. So <laughs> Hopefully he'll be able to fix that soon And poor Nicole or not Nicole poor May is up here like chilling by herself Like she's like this is such a boring outing like I'm just all by myself uh, But she's okay She'll head on down here and hang out with them in a bit after she eats her grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, did he get something too? Oh, cheese steak. Nice. <laughs> They're all eating. And then I think after she eats, she'll go get a drink and maybe something with energy. She needs something to give her um, some, I don't know, maybe a Zen Zinger. I don't know if that will give her energy, but it sounds like maybe it might or it might help her be chill. I don't know. I'm not quite sure, uh, but she'll try it out. Also, I really love her spring outfits. It just became spring, and so I just recently changed up her outfits. And she's been, I've been trying to make her a little bit more like fashion forward and uh, still like comfortable because I still think of it as like Starlight Shores as like LA, and LA has a little bit more of like that relaxed fashion, even though it is like higher trendy fashion, it still is a little bit more like relaxed and everything. Um, but yeah, they're gonna get some drinks, I guess. I'll probably send May down here so she can get a drink. <laughs> and we'll have her get a, um, maybe a feng shui fountain. Let's get that. That works. Oh, is she getting energy? Oh, perfect. Great. Okay, I'm glad I chose that one. <laughs> I was like, please, please, please give her energy. Um, so yeah, so the main thing I've been trying to work on Nicole and like a big thing for her life is when she was little or like as a baby, she was put up for adoption. And that's how we know that that's how her parents adopted her and everything. Uh, like I said, if you guys have seen my other current households, you kind of know her story. And so, no, girl, you're not going to use your laptop on the floor of the club. Like, girl, girl. Oh, she should come take some photos. Let's take some silly photos with um, Noaf, actually. That's so cute. I totally forgot that was there. Anyway, so she was adopted. And I'm, she's trying to now find her birth parents. She started gaining interest. She talked to her parents, got all the information she knew from them. But she has, like emailed her adoption agency and everything to see if she can find her birth parents and so she may be going to Bridgeport soon uh, to kind of go and search for them maybe during the summer or something like that is kind of what I'm thinking uh, so we're, we'll see we'll see what happens with that if she can find them or not or she just wants to know more like about her history as she's like getting older and she feels like you know a part of her is like missing so she's gonna be doing that soon and we're gonna see how that goes Oh, yay. Okay, their photos are really cute. I mean, I haven't seen them, but I know they're really cute. Um, let's see. Um, oh, we can't, like, see them. We'll have to take them home. And honestly, she probably should, like, start heading home. She's exhausted, even though, you know, the, the drink helped a bit. Oh, she probably should say goodbye, actually. <laughs> She's going to come um, friendly, friendly hug him and say goodbye to him. And May will just follow her home, honestly. <laughs> Poor May. Accused of being a diva. May, don't start causing drama. 
May is, mm, she's, like I said, a little bit of a diva, so she does cause issues sometimes, <laughs> which doesn't help oftentimes. Um, but yeah, let's do a hug. Aw, cute. Like I said, they've just been kind of like really good friends. And I think they met at like one of May's parties. May like threw a party and he came with one of his friends uh, that May knew. And here we are. So yeah, so they've just become like good friends, which is really nice. And May is just kind of in a bad mood. <laughs> She's like, girl, we didn't even talk the, the entire time. Okay. Even though that group outing was like not the best on like my terms, I guess, <laughs> it was still decent. It was decent for them. Uh, but no not Nicole. May does have work in the morning, so she'll have to head like straight to bed. And Nicole is exhausted. Oh, she wants to get a gift. We'll lock that in. Maybe we'll go and do some shopping and find him a gift or something like that. Uh, we could say maybe his birthday is coming up or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, is she heading home? Girl, no. Come on, head. Come home. Come get some sleep because she's probably exhausted. Okay, so once Nicole gets home, I think we're going to go and in this current household as is. Uh, so I hope that kind of helped you guys. I know it was a little bit more scattered. I was trying to like, instead of just me focusing on telling the update and then doing the gameplay, I was trying to kind of combine it both together. I don't know if it worked or not. Definitely let me know down below in uh, the comments what you guys thought on this, like a little bit different of a current household. Let me know if you prefer the old way or this way better, or if you have any other ideas as well. I'm all for it. And poor Nicole is just standing here in the bathroom at the club. Look, girl, go home, get some sleep. There she goes. <laughs> Finally, no, there she goes. Anyways, uh, but yeah, so if you guys want to see more on Nicole, I am a little bit behind on updating my Tumblr. Uh, you guys can definitely go check out her old posts and stories and her other, you know, siblings, her family, her cousins, all that kind of good stuff is all in like in my Tumblr, on my Tumblr, like good stuff is there. So if you guys want to learn more just about my current household and all that good stuff, definitely go check it out. Uh, like I said, definitely let me know down below how you guys like this format. Was it too messy? Was it too confusing? Do you need me to just talk and then get into gameplay? What would you guys prefer? Uh, but yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're not already subscribed and you would like to be, make sure to click that button down below. And if you would like to be notified every time I upload a video, make sure to hit that bell as well. Anyways, thank you guys so much, and I will see you all next time.